Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be giving you guys my list of the top 10 underrated animated movies. These are not necessarily movies that got bad reviews, just movies that I feel deserve more appreciation. I'd also like to point out that there will be no animes on this list because something like anime deserves a list on its own. First off, here are some honorable mentions. These are the films that I was considering putting on the list, but in the end they just didn't make it. At number 10, we have Transformers The Movie. Now here is a really 80s film. It's stupid, it's cheesy, but it is still really fun. It's got some great visuals. I can actually tell that the robots are robots and not just hunks of junk like in the Michael Bay movies. And it also has an amazing soundtrack. The second after re-watching this movie, I just had to go on Spotify and download the soundtrack. In my opinion, this is still superior to any of the Michael Bay films. Number nine is Nine. Nine is actually based on an Academy Award nominated short. A lot of the critics who reviewed this movie said that the story was really cliched. However, even with that said, I still do find this to be a good movie. I think where this film exceeds the most is definitely the incredible visuals. I love the designs of all the characters and especially those really menacing looking robot monsters. It's also a pretty creative setup, the fact that it's set right after this huge man versus machine war. And then you've got like these little robots that are under a foot tall are the only survivors. Overall, I am not going to complain about what critics say about this being cliched, but I still really like this film. Number eight is The Plague Dogs. This is a movie that I just recently reviewed and I was actually surprised at how good it was. It's a really sad and disturbing movie and definitely not for kids, but due to its disturbing nature, it does a great job at teaching its message going against vivification. It's not for the faint of heart, Heart, but for anyone who likes to watch sad movies, then this is definitely one that I would recommend. It's also from the same creators as Watership Down, so if you liked Watership Down, chances are you'll like this movie. Number 7 is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. A lot of you may be thinking, what, a Scooby-Doo movie on this list? And yes, because Scooby-Doo is awesome! This is definitely the greatest film to come out of the Scooby-Doo series. I loved watching this movie as a kid because for Scooby-Doo, it still manages to be pretty creepy at moments and is very well animated. It's also better than any of the live action films, much better. And if you are already a Scooby-Doo fan and you still have yet to see this film, then go and do that right away. Number six is Treasure Planet. In my opinion, Treasure Planet is one of the most underrated Disney films. The reason that this movie is so underrated is that nobody really gave it a chance due to the excessive amount of CGI used and the fact that it was Treasure Island in space. I am actually really glad that Disney decided to do something so original using the idea of Treasure Island. I found it to be full of creativity and the CGI was actually put to good use. Just the designs of the pirate ships and the planets and stuff, everything just looks amazing in this film. I definitely recommend this to anyone who likes Disney movies, pirate movies, or sci-fi movies. Number 5 is The Land Before Time. Out of all of the Don Bluth films, this is actually my favorite one. I would have liked to put this film lower on my list, but out of all the Don Bluth films, this is probably his least underrated. This movie actually has some really beautiful moments and one of the saddest scenes I've seen in any animated film. These are characters that you really want to succeed and you really want to see them make it out alive. And the song Hold On Together by Diana Ross goes together perfectly with this film. It's a great movie, go see it. Number four is All Dogs Go to Heaven. This is actually another great Don Bluth film. It is actually full of a lot of dark and adult scenarios like smoking, gambling, and even murder. Yet it somehow still manages to be a good kids film. I know I watched this as a kid and I had no problem with it. And that's saying a lot considering that Willy Wonka used to scare me. The movie also has some pretty good songs and I actually think that the lesson about heaven and hell in this movie is actually done very well. I do prefer The Land Before Time a bit more over this one, but I do think that this one deserves the most attention. Number three is Secret of Nim. 
Now this is definitely the most underrated of Don Bluth's films. It was based on the book Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. For a G-rated film, this movie is pretty intense. It kind of has this lesson about science versus nature and it does do that incredibly well. It is a really beautifully animated film and Mrs. Frisbee is a really likable hero. This is one of those movies that I definitely recommend to everyone. Number two is Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Now I will argue with you that this is possibly the best Batman movie. It was based on Batman the Animated Series from the 90s, which a lot of people consider to be the best cartoon ever made. Where this movie really succeeds is that it makes Batman feel human. I mean, Batman himself has always been awesome, but never really have we got to know too much about Bruce Wayne. Tons of comics and movies have tried to add on to Bruce Wayne's backstory to make it more interesting, but I think this is the one movie that really does the best job at that. It's also got some great music, especially that intro theme. And of course, it's got my personal favorite Joker, Mark Hamill. Don't get me wrong, Heath Ledger is still an amazing Joker. I just prefer the animated Joker. Number one is... The Iron Giant. Out of all those films about kids befriending aliens, I will argue that this is the best one. It had some really likable main characters, especially the giant because he's just so lovable. And the film actually has some really deep and sad moments as well. It also knows how to use the time period of the 1950s to its advantage. Overall, if you could only pick one film to see from this list, it would be The Iron Giant. So that is it for my list of the top 10 underrated animated films. If there are any that I missed, then just please let me know below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please like the video or subscribe to my channel, and I will be uploading more videos very soon. Thanks again.